Hello, Pelican Sound. I'm your head golf professional, Tim Harris. Hope everybody's doing well, wherever you may be, during these crazy times that we're living in now. Uh, it's a typical Southwest Florida afternoon in the summertime. Looks like it's about to rain. So uh, I'm talking to you from the comfort of my office here so I can stay dry. But I wanted to speak to everybody about a few things that I've observed going on out there and some things that are coming up pretty soon here in the summer season. Um, more particularly, I wanted to talk to our handicap flag drivers. Um, those of you that have a handicap flag during this past few months, you've seen me either in person here in my office or going back a little bit further, we had some classes that we did down at the River Club um, where a lot of you signed up and we told you about the new handicap blue disc program that we've uh, started. And a lot of hard work went into it with the handicap committee and myself come up with the uh, handicap blue disc program so the summertime we take the blue discs off the golf course after we do maintenance on particular courses right now the uh, river course is closed so they've removed all the blue discs from the river course as they're doing their airification and doing their maintenance you may have noticed on the sound golf course that the blue discs have been removed um, and coming up in a few weeks the lakes course is going to be worked on so we're going to remove the blue discs from the lakes course but just because the blue discs are gone does not mean that it gives you license to drive your golf carts uh, close to the edges of the green. So I want everybody to just be aware and just remember that when you did take the class or you did come and see me in person and you were authorized to get that handicap flag that you did it with a commitment that you were going to follow the rules that are applied within that booklet that I gave you. And I have a booklet right here and everybody looks, looks sees this and I'm sure it looks familiar. This was a booklet that you were given and you signed off on that booklet saying that you were going to follow the rules. And lately we've been noticing that some people are getting a little bit loose with those. Um, what we're going to do in lieu of those blue discs being removed is uh, we're going to paint blue circles out there in those areas where the blue discs normally are. And you can find the location of those blue discs in the booklet as you know. So we ask that everybody that does have a handicap flag continue to follow the rules and not drive their golf carts right up on the edges of the greens. I've had photographs, I've had emails, I've had all kinds of observations made um, from people out there um, playing behind players that are not following the rules and even some of my staff have told me about some players that are out there not following the rules. Um, do know that we put that program into place, not for the fun of it, we put a lot of work into it and our uh, golf committee is going to start handing out uh, letters to people who are observed not following those rules where there may be some consequences down the road. But very simply, it doesn't have to be any consequences. It just take your time and understand that the rules are there for a reason. We wanna keep the golf course in as best shape as we can. Our superintendent does a great job keeping the golf course in great shape. So please follow those rules and keep your golf carts at least 20 to 30 feet away from the edges of the greens and stay to the outside of those blue discs, which are now gonna be blue painted circles through the rest of the summer until we can put those discs back in again sometime in the fall. Okay, so that was one thing I wanted to talk about. Uh, the other thing I wanted to talk about was the dress code. Um, it is hot in the summertime down here. I have seen some of our members have their shirts untucked or uh, especially some of the men had their shirts untucked. Please do your best to just follow the dress code rules. Keep your shirts tucked in, look professional out there. No cargo shorts or cargo pants. I haven't seen too many of those, maybe in a couple of reciprocal folks that we've had coming out lately, um, but we let them know the dress code as well. And ladies, I've seen some tank tops out there. Please be aware that if you have uh, no sleeves on your shirt, you have to have a collar. So for ladies with sleeveless shirts, make sure you have a collar on. Um, if you have sleeves on your shirt, a collar is not required. It could be a scoop neck shirt. Um, but a lot of the uh, tank tops that we see out there, you need to have a uh, collar if you're sleeveless with, okay? Um, the scorecards that you see out there, another thing some people have asked me about, why do we have photocopied scorecards? Well, the reason being is that, you know, with these COVID-19 times we're in, we're mandating single cart riders right now. We've been handing out up to four scorecards per foursome because of that. Um, so we're holding on to our good scorecards right now until we get some kind of normalcy back here. So what we've done is we photocopied uh, the two courses that we are utilizing right now. So for example, right now the river course is closed. So we've been photocopying scorecards that have the lakes and the sound course on it. And the thing about them is you don't have to throw them away as soon as you're done with it. There's up to eight lines on those scorecards. So if you'd like to conserve them, you know, if you have a scorecard and you write your score down on it, um, go ahead and hold on to that scorecard until you've used up all the lines and conserve it as much as you can. It would help us out, save us on paper and photocopying. 
But the, the regular scorecards will be back in play once all three nines uh, open up again sometime in the fall. And as a reminder, we still want you to post your scores now that we have the new devices on the cups. Um, we've gotten a lot of good feedback on those. Sometimes they seem to detach from the, uh, from the flag stick, but just gently tap it back on. Or when you lift the flag, uh, the little device up and the ball comes out, sometimes it gets stuck. Just tap it back down as best you can. Uh, we've only had one break so far, but it wasn't because of a golfer. Um, it was just an accident that we had with one of the mowers. But so far they've been, uh, you know, it's been receptive and it allows us to actually get the ball into the bottom of the cup now so we can have a le more legitimate score. Uh, lastly, I'm not going to take up too much more of your time, but we have some exciting news that on July 4th this year, we're going to do a golf event. So it's going to be our first golf event in quite a while. It's not going to be a shotgun. There's not going to be any large gatherings or anything like that, but we are going to do a four-person scramble on July 4th. It is a holiday, so the golf course will be closed in the afternoon. But if you want to play golf on July 4th, you can sign up for our, our event. It's a four-person scramble. You can make your own team, and you can sign up on Chelsea starting Tuesday. Um, so Tuesday morning at 6 a.m., that sign-up goes live, so you can sign up your team on there. If you don't have a team, you can sign up as an individual or a two, and we'll pair someone up for you. But it should be a fun day on our Independence Day. So we're going to have a tournament there, a scramble event. Lunch is going to be optional. You don't have to stay for lunch, but there are going to be some lunch specials that day. So after you play, and it's going to be staggered, not a, not a shotgun like I said, depending on your tea time, you can go in, uh, have lunch at the pub or outside. Um, in the pavilion area and they'll have lunch specials out there for you but one thing we are going to do this year that's a little bit different with the event it's a new software that we're, we're trying out at the tournament software um, if if one person on the team can download the golf genius app it's an app that's free on your phone you can download it. it's called golf genius and the logo looks like a little uh, ball on a tee and the balls kind of has uh, the globe on it but um, it's an orange um, color I believe if you download that app, one player on your team is going to be in charge of keeping score on that app, and it's live scoring. So when you're out there playing and you put your score in hole by hole, you'll be able to follow along and see how everybody else is doing on the leaderboard as well. So it's a new feature that we're trying out, and we're going to try to have an experiment or a demo of it on July 4th. So more information of that will be coming out. Once you sign up, you'll get some more information on that going forward. But once again, I hope everyone's doing well, and I appreciate you taking a moment to listen to me. Hopefully I wasn't too long-winded, just a couple of things I wanted to get out there for everybody. And wherever you may be, if you're down here, hopefully you're going to join us for July 4th, and we'll see you out there. Um, and if you're not with us, hopefully everyone's doing well and staying safe wherever you may be. Thanks again, Pelican Sound. Look forward to seeing you and everyone real again soon. Thanks.